Hey guys, so today we're going to be reviewing the Fiskars 36 inch 8 pound wood maul. So I've been using this now for uh, just about half a year since we moved into this house. Uh, when we first moved in we had that big pile of wood over there that uh, needed to be split and so I needed to obviously buy something to make sure we could get it split. Uh, we also cut down a couple of apple trees as well in our backyard and we have a couple of those back there that I haven't split yet. So, you know, I haven't dealt with a lot of wood mauls and axes in the past, but I will say that it does kind of quick work of the uh, the wood splitting. Now, in addition to the, uh, the the splitting head, there's also the uh, the back portion here that you can use as a wedge if you're using it for bigger pieces of wood. Uh, sturdy build, uh, a little bit on the heavier side at eight pounds. I kind of like that. It makes it a little bit easier to get through the big pieces. And um, what I wanted to do is kind of show you you know, the, the Fisker uh, wood ball in action and also maybe go through a couple of important points about wood splitting that I've learned along the way since I started doing it a little over uh, half a year ago. So let's get started. Okay, so the goal here is to look at what way the grain is going, otherwise you're going to make it really difficult on yourself for splitting wood, especially whole logs like this one. So if, if you look at this one, I'm going to look a little bit closer, you can kind of see the direction that the grain is going in. kind of vertically here and that ideally is the way you want to make sure that you're swinging your axe toward, ax towards it to split it and when you when you eventually kind of split wood you don't want to do it in the middle right here the ideal spot is to do it towards the bottom right here so it can split otherwise it's going to make your job a lot tougher by doing it right in the middle here so I'll jump into it and do a couple of, uh, of hits and see how it works out Okay, so safety first, always make sure you're wearing eyeglasses or goggles whenever you're doing it because wood does tend to kind of fly all over the place sometimes, uh, usually to the sides, but it can fly up in your face, so always make sure you're wearing eye protection. Okay, so I'm going to position my feet uh, just past shoulder width. And what you want to do is you want to hold, if you're right-handed, left hand on the bottom, right hand on the top. And then as you come up, your right hand is going to come down, and that's really going to help you drive with the force to split it. Um, I tend to do more of a rocking motion where I hold the, the maul right towards the middle, knees bent, rock it back all the way up, straight down. 